What is going on guys? It's Sticks here back with another Fortnite video and I'm going to be showing you guys what I think are the best controller settings in chapter 2 and the best settings that you guys can use to improve your gameplay. I'm going to be covering a lot of things in this video so make sure you guys stay to the end because I have a lot of useful information that can improve how you play and can improve your overall knowledge of the controller player. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe because I'm going to be making a lot more of these videos, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So, I first want to start about talking about my dead zone and overall sensitivity. And I found that, you know, having a 0.12 or 0.12% on each stick, whatever you want to call it, um, actually helps me. I do have a little bit of controller drift, as you can see. Um, but this overall dead zone and sensitivity has, you know, made me, I feel like, the type of player that I am today um, regarding to, you know, how I can move my screen and how I can make sure that, you know, that little red arrow on the screen is always lining up with my builds. Um, so as you can see, it turns red when you build something and it's white when you don't. So if you can focus on that and if you can find a sensitivity that makes that always be in the middle of you know what you're trying to do you're gonna be a lot more successful and not even building but overall shooting and mechanics overall with editing and you know being able to do so much as a controller player so if you tested out my dead zone and sensitivity and say it's not for you you can actually find your own by doing these two little walls with windows in them and what you do is you do 180s or you do 360s to see how you line up and how you can consistently get your you know, little dot in the middle of the screen. Alright guys, so here are my actual settings. I'm just going to scroll through and let you guys uh, pause the video if you want to you know, copy any settings or whatever. But I'm going to be explaining more after, so make sure you stay for that. Alright guys, so the first thing I want to talk about is why I jump with my right stick. And the reason being is if I jump with X, I have to jump and then there's a little delay between where I can look with my crosshair. But if I do it with my right stick all at once, I can actually aim and jump at the same time and it's super effective. I can actually jump and shoot, so if I were to do a build fight, I can jump, shoot, and keep going. And, you know, it's just the same thing over and over. You can always know where you're looking while you're jumping it's so much smoother of gameplay to watch and I'll show here that you know I can literally do 360s keep building and keep shooting and it's just the easiest thing ever so I would recommend switching alright so I'm gonna talk about why I think exponential is the best obviously I can't L2 people like I can on legacy controls and I'm not comfortable with linear because it's you know raw stick movement but as I've noticed if someone's running across the open and I keep my crosshair on them like, it only takes five or six shots to kill somebody, right? If you hit a few headshots. And with this sensitivity, as long as I keep my dot near their body, it seems like it brings, the aim assist literally brings, you know, my crosshair to their head or to their shoulders, and I can get lucky with a headshot. So I'm going to show a few clips here of it, but yeah, check it out. Alright, so now I want to talk about why I have left stick as my edit and L2 as my confirm. And the reason for this is because my fingers are both always resting on them. So, you know, it's fast and efficient for me to obviously use these buttons because I can edit fast. 
I can be smooth with it. And as soon as I edit, you know, it's getting confirmed with my other finger. So you just got to find the timing. Um, if you're going to use the left stick edit and, you know, L2 confirm or LT, whatever you're on, Xbox or PS4 controller. But once you find this, it's actually super easy to do double edits. Of course, I fail here because I'm, you know, recording. But, you know, it's it, you just fly through edits and it feels like, you know, it kind of just feels like butter as soon as you... As soon as you get, you know, that sort of satisfaction that you're looking for with your edit find. So just find something that, you know, can make you smooth and you're not going to mess it up. And I think you'll be good. Whether you use mine or not, I hope this can help you, you know, to see what left stick edit players do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video that I made for you today. Um, I'm going to be making a lot more of these settings videos. And obviously, if, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to DM me on Instagram, Twitter, I mean, you could whisper me on Twitch, but if you really want to get to me fast, drop a comment down below on this video. I'm going to be checking them all out, and I'm actually going to be making a video based off of one of the comments on here. So whatever you guys want to see me do controller-wise, um, I'm going to try and learn a new thing, whatever it is, you know, talk about a setting, talk about why Dead Zone is important, stuff like that. You know, just drop a comment down below, and I will catch you guys next time. Thank you guys for sticking around to the end. Peace! Don't get no fuss today. Gas patched on me, rolling up the way. I don't wanna fall in love, but I'ma try it. Let's play games, no rules. We